There are many characters within the world of Undertale, many of which are beloved by fans, whether it be the Skeleton Brothers, the Strong Fish, or the Goat Mother. Almost every character gets their spotlight. However, there are many characters who do not even know this light. Hello, I am Guild, Opinions Ahead, and welcome to the next episode of my Few Interesting Observations series. Thanks to the six people who voted for this on my community tab. And with that, on to the video. Number one, Rabbit Girl and Cinnamon. In Snowden Town, there are many rabbit NPCs, and most of them are pretty normal, whether it be the innkeeper or QC, the shopkeeper. They act like your average small town resident. One of these many rabbits is a character only referred to as Rabbit Girl, who appears to be walking a smaller bunny, which is a bit weird. When spoken to, she mentions that she is walking her little brother, Cinnamon. I do not need to explain why walking your little sibling on a leash is weird, but I don't need to. The nearby Rabbit Kid NPC mentions how the whole situation is disturbing. The situation gets more weird when he kills the canine unit or Papyrus, to which she mentions they usually chase her little brother around. This whole situation is really weird. Number 2, the Nakarat Jester. This Jester is an NPC who is actually aware of the bad happenings in the underground, but chooses to focus on the positives. After the first interaction, he will say, smile, smile. Upon a true pacifist route, the Nakarat Jester will reveal that he was faking his smile until they were freed from the underground. The fact this NPC was constantly plastering a fake smile on his face is a little bit unsettling. Number 3, Lauren. This small monster is interested in the stars that can be seen on the roof of Waterfall. She asks the player various questions, the last one being, are you a star? If Undyne is killed, she will comment on how one of the stars on the ceiling went out, and what that means. The implication of the star going out when Undyne is killed is a very unsettling notion. One can only imagine how the roof of Waterfall may look during a genocide route. Number 4, Ragel. A dancing mushroom in Temi Village that initially looks cute, until it reveals its eyes, which look pretty cursed. This mushroom is worried about being rooted in a spot, or upon the berry being shattered, comments on how someone offered to carry him in a pot to the service. The most uncanny dialogue, however, is when this player has killed a monster, in which he will insist the player has sinned and will refuse to speak. How does this mushroom rooted into one spot know this? Are the Temis feeding him this info? Does he see through the glowing mushrooms throughout Waterfall? Or is this yet another way the game punishes you for killing? Number 5, The River Person. Trollala. This cloaked monster is very mysterious. Trollala. The speech pattern of the river person is very interesting, as I modeled just a sentence earlier, but their verbal patterns are not just the subject of this section. The main reason it is for their innate knowledge of what the player may need to know mixed with a complete randomness. Every time the river person gives a useful hint, like Asgore's favorite food being butterscotch pie, they will also give something random like Trollala, Trillili, Trollala. The fairy person overall is an enigma. Number 6, Scared Donut Guy. Imagine having your life savings drained from your pockets for a pastry. Now imagine if that same pastry was made of spiders, and the baker who just pressured you into buying it was eyeing you like a sugary confectionery. That's the situation that this poor monster is in. It is easy to tell that this monster is very uncomfortable, hunched over, obscuring his face, wide-eyed with a plastered smile, making him look more sinister than he deserves to be perceived as. If I could hug a monster, it would be this guy. He needs it. Number 7, the Gaster Followers. These monochromatic guys have caused much discourse over an almost non-existent character in the Undertale Deltarune community. Their looks all mirror those of other NPCs in both games. Gaster Follower 2 looks eerily similar to the last Mystery's character, for instance. Something about these three has always unsettled me, perhaps for the reasons I have already listed. After all, it is rude to talk about someone who's listening. But then again, it may be for another reason. It is simply their rarity. They all only have a 1 in 100 chance of appearing each. Now, can you guess who I met on my very first playthrough of Undertale before I knew all the lore? Follower 3, who I not only quoted earlier, but is probably the most scariest moment during that entire playthrough. I don't know, what do you all think about these three heralds of the unknown? Number 8, the Ficus Licker. To cheer up from the last entry, this is the Ficus Licker. The Ficus Licker is too shy to leave the restaurant at the MTT Resort and has been surviving off a nearby plant. The main reason this character is on this list, however, is the absolute soul-sucking stare this NPC has. That's all I'm willing to talk about. Next. Please. Number 9. The Spoon. This monster is a large, spoon-like creature that tucks you into bed in the True Lab. It's a jump scare that scares almost everyone on their first playthrough of the True Pacifist route. 
The main thing that is unsettling, however, is thinking of what monsters could have possibly fused to make up this dangerous tentacle monster amalgamate. We may never know. Number 10, the Banana Man. This default sprite is used by all the core enemies. It is very unsettling to me for some reason. Maybe it's the fact that none of the monsters are even vaguely that shape, or their complete lack of animation. This is why they are the top of this top 10 list of the most unsettling and forgotten NPCs. Overall, these NPCs add unsettling undertones to Undertale, which is probably by design. Undertale's atmosphere is meant to unsettle the player. If you want to be featured in the future episode, leave an observation in the comments. Thank you for watching to this point of the video, and as always, have an amazing day. Bye everyone. Alright, the normies should be gone. If you watched this far in the video, comment what your favorite episode of this series has been so far. I've made a total of five videos, I think. Yeah, this is my fifth video, so... Yeah, that's the unscripted part of the video right at the end for all the homies who've watched this far. With that, have a great day.